So you might recall that in December 2020, we had a terribly, horrifically damaged uh, Prussian pickle hub helmet that came into Heritage Arsenal. A uh, military officer uh, doing an overseas move from Germany had purchased it over there as a souvenir. And in the process of that move, it was damaged. In fact, the, the spike crushed in to the uh, leather body of the helmet and it was just in horrible, horrible shape, sad shape indeed. And he asked Heritage Arsenal what we could possibly do. Well, I reached out to a gentleman in our network, Brian LeRae of Ontario, Canada, a globally recognized expert in pickle hub helmets, and asked if there was something uh, Brian could do. Of course, uh, just trading pictures back and forth, he had a kind of an idea of what he was getting himself into, but only when he held it in his hands did we understand the extent of the damage and really the extent of the restoration is required. So four months later, here's what we have. Hello, I'm Bill Lynn. I'm the Vice President of Heritage Arsenal, and before me is a sympathetically restored 1871 uh, Prussian Pickelob helmet for a battalion training officer of mounted troops. As you recall from the pictures we've just shown you, look at this spike now restored at the crown of this helmet as it should have been. Uh, you can also see the deep creases and grooves that were uh, carved into this leather body have now been uh, filled and are now aesthetically pleasing and bright. You can see all the hardware has been replaced and as well we've uh, uh, also enjoy a watered or rib silk liner inside. This is a fabulous example of someone who has uh, artisan craftsmanship and can uh, use that talent to bring something that had essentially almost no historic value. This would have been a parts helmet if left in its original configuration after the damage it sustained. But what we've got now is something uh, aesthetically pleasing, a period piece, a piece of history that now uh, this uh, army officer can enjoy in his professional office. So let me t take you through just a little bit of what was done here. So the spike had been fixed with some uh, anchors and some nuts that had been cross-threaded and stripped. Uh, Brian was able to replace those. He, at, he put the Vopin or the crest back on, which is uh, the crest of Prussia. The uh, reproduction cockaden, which had been on there before, were just replaced. The uh, reproduction chin scales of this convex uh, configuration here uh, were just replaced. The 1876 shellac formula. Yes, Brian has the 1876 shellac formula that he was able to reproduce and then, uh, like, like uh, a good paratrooper using his spit shine, was able to fill in all of these scars and creases to bring this body of this helmet back. One thing we did not anticipate when this showed up in Ontario, his keen eye immediately went to the fact that the rear visor and the front visor were separating from the main body of the helmet. Not only that, someone had uh, taken synthetic thread to sew this on and didn't even use the factory holes associated. Brian, being a perfectionist, said that will not stand. And out in natural light, which is hard to come by in Canada during the wintertime, uh, was able to take his needle and thread and expertly reattach this with cotton thread and dye it so that you have just this nice uh, vintage look patina coming across. I mean, uh, uh, unless I had told you what had happened, you would have never known. So it's just a fabulous helmet um, that now even the inside is uh, really aesthetically pleasing. They had a spray painted spike plate inside it, spray paint. All right, this is an 1871, 150-year-old helmet, okay? Brian wouldn't let that go. It's why we work with him. Uh, so now you've got the spike plate in there that, that is correct. And then this uh, beautiful liner uh, straight out of Poland, uh, this nice watered rib silk uh, liner. This is going to look fabulous in this Army officer's um, professional space. And Heritage Arsenal is excited uh, to have had a hand in resurrecting something like this, 
which would have went to the dumpster or, or a parts situation and would never uh, have had a chance to look like this and represent the history that this is indicative of. So it's just, a, just an interesting restoration and showing the capabilities of experts as well as people inside of our network. Bring us your project. Is this all you got? We can take something like this and make it fabulous again.